my friends, welcome back to Eater's Immigration Corner. In today's video, I will discuss the latest case processing of the Federal National Visa Center as December 2024 Visa Bulletin for Family Based Categories, Filing Dates, plus the Diversity Visa Law 3. So keep on watching for more details. How are my amazing immigration friends doing? What have you guys been up to? How did you spend your Thanksgiving? Did you receive your immigrant visa interview as of yet? How are you dealing with the upcoming US administration? Are you afraid? Or are you just going to put everything in God's hand? Despite what's going on in this world, we have to trust God, trust the process and know that everything will work out in our own good okay do not lose hope my friends i'm praying for you i know things will get worse before it gets better but as long as you're doing the right thing you will get you i promise you Recently, the National Visa Center removed the Immigrant Visa Backlog Report page and so uh, I am unable to make those type of videos. I do not know why they did that. I'm not sure if they're hiding something or there are more people waiting for an um, immigrant visa interview and they do not want the public to be aware of that. Uh, they're probably tired of telling lies who knows but I am unable to continue to make those videos so I am depending on you to provide me these details so if you have an immigration interview right after your interview please come back and let me know your full details your priority date when you become DQ visa category how long you waited for an interview come back make a comment let me know share your experience and i will share that experience with everyone so we all know how long it would take for an applicant to get the immigrant visa interview in today's time okay my friends so i'm counting on you to provide me that information plus i'm going to be doing some research so we'll be on the same page okay well i had an amazing Thanksgiving. I was sick um, last week, but now I'm doing better. Here is how I prep my turkey and, and create a Thanksgiving meal. Let's go ahead and take a look real fast. Cut it up. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, I think I overcooked it. <laughs> Woo! Look at our food! We got some rice and peas over there. <laughs> Stuffing, salad. What do you guys think? Do you think I did a great job? Well, my brother, he made the oxtail and rice and peas, and I did the turkey, the mac and cheese. I did a salad, the stuffing. Um, I also did. Uh, sweet potato, mashed sweet potato, and mashed potato. So, yeah, we have a lot to eat. <laughs> but Thanksgiving is not about eating. It's about being with family, being grateful for what you have already. And I am grateful for this channel. I'm grateful for all my supporters around the world that tune in and support this channel. Each of you means the world to me and um, yeah this channel wouldn't be where it is all because of each one of you all right now let's go ahead and jump straight to the video here is the latest case processing order from the National Visa Center as of December 2nd, 2024, they are working on cases received from the USAS on November 21st, 2024. They are reviewing documents that were submitted on November 21st, 2024. And lastly, they are replying to inquiries that were received on November 26, 2024. To conclude, in terms of working on cases received from the USAS, and reviewing documents, they are two weeks behind. Replying to your inquiries, they are one week behind. Let's go ahead and take a look back at November 2024 visa bulletin for family based categories before we get to December. Looking at December 2024 visa bulletin for family based categories, filing dates, we can see that in the F1 visa category, they are on priority date September 1st, 2017 for all chargeable day areas, including China and India, Mexico, October 1st, 2005, the Philippines, April 22nd, 2015. In the F2A visa category, we can see that they are on priority date July 15, 2024, and that's for all chargeability areas, including China, India, Mexico, and the Philippines. In the F2B visa category, we can see that they are on priority date July 1st, 2017, Mexico, July 1st, 2006, the Philippines, October 1st, 2013. In the F3 visa category, we can see that they are on priority date April 22nd, 2012, Mexico, June 15, 2001, the Philippines, April 8, 2004. In the F4 visa category, we can see that they are on priority date March 1st, 2008, India, August 1st, 2006, Mexico, April 30th, 2001, the Philippines, July 22nd, 2007. So these are the current priority dates for December 2024 visa bulletin for family based categories. To conclude, as we can see, December's visa bulletin is completely identical to November's. That means that we didn't have no changes across the board for all visa categories why is that let's take a look the number one reason why there was no changes on the visa bulletin is because demand exceeds supply visa numbers are allocated based on annual caps set by congress 
when demand for visas in a specific category or region exceeds the available numbers, priority dates may remain stagnant or move very slowly. Number two, high application backlog. A significant backlog of cases already exists. Until those cases are processed, new priority dates may not move forward. And lastly, number three, retrogression. If there was rapid advancement of priority dates in earlier months, the dates might remain static or even retrogress to ensure visa numbers are distributed equally. Stagnation in the visa bulletin is often temporary, but it reflects the complex balance between visa supply, demand, and government processing capacity. So these are the three main reasons why we may not see any changes on the visa bulletin. Last month, we had major changes in some visa categories, including FB, F3, and F4 visa categories. I will go ahead and link the video above so you could go ahead and take a look. Next, let's go ahead and take a look back at November's 2024 Diversity Visa Lottery for DV 2025. Looking at December's 2024 Diversity Visa Lottery for DV 2025. We can see for Africa, they are on applicant number 15,000, except Algeria 10,000, Egypt 10,000, Morocco 10,000. For Asia, they are on applicant number 3,000, Iran 2,950, Nepal 2,950. Europe, they are on applicant number 6,000, except Russia, 5,950, Uzbekistan, 4,900. For North America, including the Bahamas, they are on applicant number 5, Oceania, 550, and lastly, South America and the Caribbean, they are on applicant number 825. So the National Visa Center will not tell you that you have been selected, hence the reason why you need to follow the website that I listed down below to check the status of your diversity visa. So you can start your DS-260 visa application and start preparing your documents. Please note that you have until the ending of September 2000. 25 to claim entitlement to your diversity visa so it's very important after this date you will not be able to claim entitlement all right my friends and also if your priority date is current on the visa bulletin you should have already received your welcome letter with your case number and reference number to start your ds 260 visa application if you didn't know what to do, you didn't know if your priority date is current, go ahead and comment down below and I'll be very happy to find some information for you. Okay, my friends, I hope this video was beneficial to each one of you. Remember to keep the faith, keep praying, keep thanking God for the small things, keep trusting Him. All right, and your time will come. I promise you, my friends, your time will come where you will rejoin with your family in the U.S. I'm praying for you. Do not lose hope. Before I go, make sure that you subscribe. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video from me. 
Thank you for watching Eater's Corner and I'll see you next time. Bye now.